और पिक्चर लाइट बंद कर देना है कौन सी मेरे को नहीं आएगी क्यों ब्लाइंड वो उसमें को नहीं समझ रहा सिमरन को लाइट बंद नहीं है तो ट्यूबलाइट बंद कर देना हाय दीपक चौरसिया जी हाय कैसे हैं आप दीपक जी लेट सम पीपल कम सम पीपल मोर कम टूडेज टॉपिक वुड बी क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज आई विल बी शोइंग हाउ वेरियस पीपल हु आर न्यू कमर्स एंड डेटा रिकवरी and how very good companies and good companies who are learning data recovery and how companies which want to see that only they can recover data and nobody else can recover data and also companies which get defamed by doing damages on the hard disk so this applies to everybody who is damaging a hard disk just to get money hi cozy computers data recovery lab how are you see i am discussing today on damages to a hard disk accidental normal purposeful with a reason without a reason or reasons are known but they damage the hard disk normal purposeful accidental proven purposeful proven accidental in such a way that the company should get money some or the other if it's accidental it will give it back if it is purposeful it is done with only one purpose 
वन मिनट लेटर रहना है आराम करना है लेटर रहना है लेटे रहना है बिल्कुल एक दिन डेढ़ दिन तो लेटे ही रहना है आराम करना है हो सके तो उल्टा लेटना है पेट के ऊपर लेटना है और जो बोली सिमरन बोल रहा है वो लेके खा ले अंदर जो गादी होती है ना वो गादी दब गई है तो वजन उठाने से वजन से भी गादी दबी साथ में तो झुका साथ में कमर टाइट हुई तो गादी पूरी दब गई है इसके लिए सुन ये तो अच्छा है कि पूरी गादी नहीं दबी अगर पूरी गादी दब जाए तो चल नहीं सकता है बैठते हैं क्योंकि नसों पर खींच आ रही है एक दो गोलियां दे दे सॉरी आई वाज कंसल्टिंग वन पेशेंट ऑफ माइन आई एम आल्सो अ डॉक्टर एंड ही केम जस्ट नाउ विद पेन इन द बैक सो आई गिव हिम सम सजेशन सो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट पीपल कंपनीज persons not animals not birds but people who are having malicious intent to see that if they cannot do a hard disk one they should not be revealed the customer should not know that he has spoiled it second intention if there will there was a money discussion and the customer is not ready to pay the money then the intention is to see that his name doesn't get spoiled so he will damage the hard disk and give it because he is demanding more money and the customer is not ready to pay that amount of money so he wants to see that nobody should recover and nobody should lose third reason he backs up the data he wants more money customer not ready to give money customer says give me back the hard disk so he destroys the hard disk but the data is still there with him go after two months change the hard disk you get the data so it is a proof that he had the data but he destroyed his hard disk and the easiest method they what they do is take a soft carpet hit it on the carpet as soon as the, as long as the heads are damaged apply on the computer and see if it is detecting or not if it is not detecting give it back to the customer so a very bad method bang on the carpet bang on the sofa bang on the soft table bang on the soft place Uh, bang in such a way that there are no marks on the hard disk so very common thing and conveniently say sir iska to heads band ho gaya hai data kaise milega so agar heads band ho gaya hai aur aapne bang kar di hai to data kisi ko bhi nahi milega ab ye banda ye chupa leta hai customer aur dusri jagah jata hai aur wahan par bolta hai sir ye hard disk recover kara diye वो कस्टमर ये देखना चाहता है कि अभी ये क्या कहेगा अब नेचुरली ये मेरे पास भी आएगी और क्लिकिंग हार्ड डिस्क और बैंग हुई है मुझे पता ही नहीं वो तो डेटा रिकवर करेगी नहीं क्योंकि हेड गया हुआ है तो मैं भी वही बोलूंगा कि सर हेड गया हुआ है तो जो प्रीवियस प्रीवियस बंदे ने कहा था हेड गया हुआ है वही मैं कह रहा हूँ तो उसको डबल विश्वास हो गया कि हाँ पहले बंदे ने जिसने मेरे को हार्ड डिस्क वापस दी है उसने सही कहा था कि हेड्स गए हैं 
मगर असली बात ये है कि हार्ड डिस्क डैमेज कर दी गई है सॉफ्ट कारपेट पर कोई कारपेट पर कोई ऐसी सॉफ्ट जगह पर मार के जिससे कि कस्टमर को पता ही नहीं चले कि इसने क्या क्या कांड कर दिए है जिसकी वजह से डेटा नहीं मिला है ये एक तरीका है अपने आप को बचाने का दूसरा बचाने का तरीका वही डेटा पहले रख लो फिर बोलो हेड गए हैं हेड बोलने के बाद बोलो पैसे खूब लगेंगे कस्टमर को डेटा चाहिए होगा तो पैसे दे देगा नहीं चाहिए होगा तो वो बोलेगा वापस दो वापस मांगता है तो डेटा इसने रख लिया है तो ये इसको पटक के दे देगा लास्ट में वो यहाँ वहां भटकेगा हेड की प्रॉब्लम है और इसने कोटेशन उतनी ही दी है कि बाहर उससे ज्यादा कोई देता है तो उससे रिकवरी नहीं करवाएगा तो वापस इसके पास आने वाला है तो ये एक बहुत बहुत ही कॉमन मेथड है कोई भी हार्ड डिस्क का प्रॉब्लम बोलो हेड गया है बहुत गंदा तरीका ये ये तो एक तरीका बहुत कॉमन है अब जिनके पास इक्विपमेंट है जैसे डॉल्फिन है एम आर टी है पीसी थ्री थाउजेंड है जो साटा हार्ड डिस्क है उनकी प्रॉब्लम ज्यादा ये लोग कर सकते हैं यूएसबी भी कर सकते साटा हार्ड डिस्क का क्या है शुरुआत होती है पीसीबी से नए डेटा रिकवरी वालों के पास भंडार पीसीबी का होता है बीस पच्चीस पीसीबी वही वही मॉडल के या अलग मॉडल के या अलग फॉर्म में एक के बाद एक के बाद एक के बाद एक के बाद, एक के बाद बंदी करके देखते हैं जिससे स्पिनिंग शुरू हो गई जिससे डेटा मिल गया उसका डेटा निकाल के दे देते हैं उनका लक ऐसा है कि सौ हार्ड डिस्क लगाने से अगर बाय चांस एक से भी डेटा मिल गया तो उससे तीन चार हजार पांच हजार रुपया कमा लेते हैं सक्सेसफुल नहीं होते हैं वो मगर इस प्रोसेस में क्या होता है ये लोग ओरिजिनल हार्ड डिस्क पर मार्किंग नहीं करते हैं जैसे सीगेट है या डब्ल्यू डी है ओरिजिनल हार्ड डिस्क पर मार्किंग नहीं करते है या नाड़ी आदमी को बोलते अरे पीसीबी बदली कर दे तो वो पीसीबी बदली कर देते हैं एक के बाद सर ये डाला चला क्या नहीं चला अच्छा नहीं चला दूसरा डाल दूसरा डाला चला क्या नहीं चला जो टेक्निकल आदमी होगा वो खुद काम करेगा टेक्निकल का मतलब थोड़ा बहुत ज्ञान रखता होगा कि कोई कोई पीसी से पीसीबी बदली करने से डेटा आ जाता उनको क्या लगता है कि पीसीबी खराब है जल गया है दूसरा डालने से डेटा आएगा ऐसा नहीं है ये दिस रूल वाज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर हार्ड डिस्क व्हिच वर 40 जीबी ऑफ डब्ल्यूडी 80 जीबी ऑफ डब्ल्यूडी 120 जीबी ऑफ डब्ल्यूडी सम सीगेट सम टोशिबा सम हिटाची सम सैमसंग वेरी वेरी ओल्ड वंस because there was nothing like uh, you know they had common rom common pcbs common components on all hard disk so that is why us time par ye pcb us bhi badli karne se data aa jata tha aajkal nahi aata hai to ye process mein jiske paas 100 pcb ho dal ke dekhta rehta hai kahan par usko data milta hai to pcb to change kar diya data bhi aaya nahi अब ओरिजिनल पीसीबी ये लोग भूल जाते हैं तो वो मालिक क्या बोलते हैं दे दे इसको क्या पता चलेगा वैसे भी तो बंद ही है तो वो लेके चला जाता है दे हैव गॉट नो कंसर्न कस्टमर का डेटा है नहीं मिलने वाला है उनको इतना इग्नोरेंस है कि ये भी नहीं पता है कि दूसरे पीसीबी डालने से डेटा रिकवरी नहीं होती है तो दे फॉर देम ignorance is bliss but in data recovery ignorance is never a bliss if you do ignorance in data recovery it is not a blissful act it is an act of crime so ignorance is bliss is like for general are mujhe pata nahi tha acha acha are tu bach gaya tu lucky hai nahi to tu to mar jata to wo ignorant tha usko pata nahi tha to wo uske liye bliss tha magar in data recovery ignorance is never a bliss agar aap pcb baddi karte ho aap pakde jaoge 
क्योंकि अच्छी डेटा रिकवरी कंपनी अच्छा नॉलेजेबल पर्सन पीसीबी से ही पता कर लेगा कि इसमें कौन सी हार्ड डिस्क लगी थी उस हार्ड डिस्क का सीरियल नंबर क्या था उस हार्ड डिस्क में और क्या क्या पैरामीटर्स थे क्या कैपेसिटी थी कब का फॉर्मवेयर था कौन सा फॉर्मवेयर था तो सारी चीजें पीसीबी के पायास में या रोम से पता चल जाती हैं आजकल जो थोड़ी सी पीसीबी फोरेंसिक्स के बारे में स्टडी करता है तो एक पीसीबी चेंज करना ये मेथड तो अब लोग होशियार हो गए तो ये पीसीबी वाले पकड़े जाते हैं चेंज करते हैं तो अरे भाई तू तो पीसीबी नहीं चेंज करना पकड़ा जाएगा तो क्या करें अब पीसीबी के ऊपर इतने हजारों कंपोनेंट हैं कौन देखता है इतने छोटे छोटे कंपोनेंट्स कौन याद रखता है तो उसके ऊपर से छोटे छोटे कंपोनेंट्स जो दिखते नहीं है वो लोग जो है वो निकाल ही देते हैं हवा से गर्म हवा से अब गर्म हवा से तीन चार निकाले हार्ड डिस्क लगाई डिटेक्शन बंद हो गई वापस दे दी अब कस्टमर को भी पता नहीं गर्म हवा से निकाल दिया है वो भी ले जाता है मगर पीसीबी सब सेम होते हैं सेम मॉडल के सेम पीसीबी नंबर सब सेम होते हैं सब एक जैसे दिखते हैं मगर हर पीसीबी पर हर मॉडल का एक नंबर होता है अब दूसरी चीज लोग दूसरे नंबर के पीसीबी डाल देते हैं पीसीबी का एक नंबर होता है जो हार्ड डिस्क पर पीसीबी साइड लिखा होता है कंपोनेंट साइड नहीं लिखा होता है पीसीबी साइड लिखा होता है वो नंबर ही बदली कर देते हैं क्योंकि एक जैसा दिखता है तो वो फिर वापस वहां पर जाता है दूसरे के पास उसको पता ही नहीं चलता वो अपना सिर माथा मारता रहता है कि मुझे पता चले क्या फॉल्ट है अरे फॉल्ट क्या पता चलेगा पीसीबी बदली कर दी है तो बायास बदली कर दी है बायास बदली कर दी है तो हार्ड डिस्क को पता नहीं चलेगा कहाँ से शुरू करना कहाँ पर अंदर जाना लेटर पर और कहाँ से फॉर्मवेयर उठाना और कहाँ से फिर डेटा देना तो दैट इज वन मोर प्रॉब्लम तो चेंजिंग द पी Changing multiple PCBs to get data, removing small components from the PCB, and now coming to bigger components like diodes. They will take out the working diodes, and they will replace them with dead diodes. Hard disk to aati rehti hai, dead hard disk aaya aare uski diode mari ho ye malum pad jata hai meter se. वो डायट ये लोग 10-12 रख लेते हैं जमा कर लेते हैं जो भी, भी वर्किंग हार्ड डिस्क है उसका डायट बंदी करके दे दिया या उल्टा लगा दिया उसकी हार्ड डिस्क चलेगी ही नहीं बेचारा इधर उधर घूमेगा दूसरी जगह जाएगा उसको अगर डायट टेस्ट करना नहीं आता है तो गया वापस उसके पास जाएगा सर वो तो कोई नहीं कर पाता है आपने तो मुझे फाइल फोल्डर भी दिखा दिए थे तो वापस वो कमा लेगा मगर पहले वो डेटा रख लेता है फिर डायड उल्टी करके देता है तो ये एक चीज हो गई अब डायड एक चीज है वैसे ही फ्यूजेस है हार्ड डिस्क पर कम से कम दो से छह फ्यूज लगे होते हैं सी गेट पर छह छह फ्यूज भी होते हैं कई हार्ड डिस्क पर एक ही फ्यूज होता है टोशिबा वगैरह फुजित्सू में एक ही फ्यूज होता है या दो फ्यूज होते हैं पीसीबी साइड तो वो लोग फ्यूज ही निकाल देते हैं अब इतना छोटा फ्यूज है दिखता नहीं है फ्यूज निकाल दिया तो हार्ड डिस्क जो है चलेगी नहीं या मोटर चलेगी डिटेक्ट नहीं होगी या फ्यूज चल ही नहीं रहे और जला हुआ फ्यूज तो हमेशा दिख जाता है किसी भी पर काला रंग छोड़ेगा बांस मारेगा डायट भी जल जाएगी तो बांस मारेगी ठीक है ना तो ये कॉम्पोनेंट्स जो है अभी रॉम रॉम बायस जो है रॉम बायस का एक तरीका होता है हार्ड डिस्क पर लगने का उसके ऊपर एक निशान होता है एक डॉट होता है आईसी पर और वैसा ही डॉट पीसीबी पर होता है डॉट टू डॉट पेस करेंगे तो रॉम लग बराबर लगेगा अब ये कंपनी वाले रॉम तो रॉम कोड उतार लिया डेटा निकाल लिया और रॉम को डॉट टू डॉट नहीं लगाएंगे उल्टा लगा देंगे आठ आठ 
लेग्स का ये कंपोनेंट चार एक साइड चार एक साइड उल्टा लगा के दे दिया अब पेश अब वो कस्टमर रोता रहेगा मैंने तो चलती हुई हार्ड डिस्क देती बंद हो गई और वो कोई डेटा रिकवरी वाला बोलेगा पीसी भी खराब है तो वो रॉम निकालेगा वैसे ही लगा देगा फिर किधर चलना है क्योंकि उसने भी उल्टा रॉम लगा दिया तो देर आर सेवरल सेवरल वेज बाई विच पीपल आर डूइंग रॉन्ग थिंग्स नाउ सम पीपल ब्रेक द पीसीबी ओनली उसकी जो पॉजिटिव सप्लाई की जो अंदर ट्रैक जाती है एक बारीक वायर उसको काट ही देंगे छोटा सा बारीक चाकू लेंगे उससे स्क्रिबल करके अंदर से अच्छी तरह से ट्रैक को ही काट देंगे पॉजिटिव वो ऐसे काटेंगे वो दिखेगा नहीं तो काटे हुए ट्रैक्स भी हमारे पास आते हैं प्लस ट्वेल्व वाला ट्रैक काट दे या प्लस फाइव वोल्ट वाला ट्रैक काट दिया और तो और कई लोग मोटर के जो ट्रैक्स होते हैं वो काट देते हैं कई लोग मोटर से एक केबल आता है बारीक वो केबल को जला देते हैं बोलते हैं केबल जल गया है तो केबल जब जला ही नहीं अब केबल जल गया है तो मैं नया केबल कैसे डालूंगा काम बढ़ जाता है तो मुझे कैसे भी तीन वायरें उसकी हार्ड डिस्क में से या चार वायरें उसकी खींचनी ही पड़ेंगी और अलग से एक पीसीबी पर डायरेक्ट वायरें सोल्डरिंग करके मुझे डेटा निकालना पड़ेगा कई लोग अब स्क्रूज पर स्क्रूज से हार्ड डिस्क जो है वो टाइट होती है स्क्रूज से अब ये शातिर लोग क्या करते हैं स्क्रू तो निकाल दिया मगर बंद करते हैं टाइम उस पर फेविक्विक लगा देते हैं हर स्क्रू पर फेविक्विक लगा के उसको टाइट कर देते हैं अब वो स्क्रू खुलना नहीं है और अगर आप खोलेंगे वो हेक्सागोनल है उसके आटे खराब हो जाएंगे फिर उसको काटेंगे कैसे काट के भी कैसे निकलेगा नीचे फेविक्विक से उसने सील कर दिया हुआ है कई लोग स्क्रू को फॉर्मवेयर एरिया जो हार्ड डिस्क के पीसीबी का होता है उस स्क्रू को जो हेक्स पोर्शन होता है जहां से वो खुलता है उसके बिना ही डाल देते हैं और फेविक्विक के साथ डाल देते हैं अब क्या है पीसीबी आपका खुलने ही नहीं वाला क्योंकि उस पर आटा ही नहीं है और फेविक्विक डाला हुआ है तो वो पीसीबी को आप कैसे निकालेंगे फिर भी हम लोग बहुत होशियार है फेविक्विक सॉल्वेंट्स आ गए हैं या जितने भी चीजें यूज करते हैं उसके अलग से सॉल्वेंट्स हैं वो सॉल्वेंट्स डालने से गल जाता है और हम लोग स्क्रू को निकाल लेते हैं तो ऐसे भी लोग हैं कि जो स्क्रू के ऊपर फेविक्विक डाल के टाइट कर देते कई लोग रॉन्ग स्क्रू ड्राइवर यूज करके ऊपर जो एग्जागोनल एरिया होता है उसको इतना घुमा 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 देंगे कि अभी आप कोई भी स्क्रू ड्राइवर लीजिए अच्छे से अच्छा लीजिए वो पीसीबी नहीं खुलने वाला तो अब उसका तोड़ क्या है उसका तोड़ ये है कि उसको हमको एक वेरी फाइन बर फाइल होती है बर फाइल से उस स्क्रू पर एक फ्लैट स्क्रू ड्राइवर जिसका सरफेस फ्लैट होता है वैसा फ्लैट सरफेस नॉच बनानी पड़ती है उसमें ये स्क्रू ड्राइवर फिट करके हमको वो स्क्रू जो है खुल जाता है इतने तरीके हैं लोगों को डैमेज करने के कि ये 18 साल में सालों में मैं तो एक बुक लिख सकता हूं कि कैसे लोग हार्ड डिस्क डैमेज करते हैं और कैसे लोग पीसीबी डैमेज करते हैं अब मैं आपको और बताऊं अभी इसका जो स्मूथ आईसी होता है जो स्मूथ आईसी होता है उसके कोई भी पॉइंट पर ये लोग 12 वोल्ट लगा देते हैं कितने सेकंड के लिए एक माइक्रो सेकेंड के लिए वो जलता नहीं है गर्म होता है और अंदर से उसके सारे सर्किट जो है वो फ्यूज हो जाते हैं रॉम पर ये लोग 12 वोल्ट लगा देते हैं मीडिया कैश आईसी है उस पर 12 वोल्ट लगा देते हैं तो 12 वोल्ट लगाने से 
पीसीबी जो है वो अंदर उसके कंपोनेंट्स जल जाते हैं मगर बाहर कोई भी चिन्ह नहीं मिलता है कि भाई ये पीसीबी खराब हो गया तो ये है फिर क्या करना पड़ता है दूसरा नया पीसीबी लो रॉम निकालो रॉम को प्रोग्रामिंग कर लो या डिसोल्डर करो तरीके हैं डेटा मिल जाता है मगर लोगों की वो नष्ट करने की नीयत जो है वो बंद नहीं हो रही है आज भी लोग हार्ड डिस्क आती है उसको कैसे बंद करें वो सोचते हैं डेटा निकालने के बाद कि कस्टमर को पता ही नहीं चले कि हमने की किसने की और ये पैसे पूरे नहीं देता है तो मेरा कॉम्पिटिटर क्यों कमाए और भी बहुत से तरीके हैं अभी आप कोई क्वेश्चन पूछिए और मैं फिर दस पंद्रह दस बारह मिनट के बाद आपको अलग और तरीके बताऊंगा जिससे लोग हार्ड डिस्क को नष्ट करते हैं ये तो हो गया फिजिकल भाई तो पीसीबी के साथ मस्ती की या हार्ड डिस्क के साथ मस्ती करके उसको नीचे पटका और किसी को भी डेटा नहीं मिला और बोला कि हेड खराब है फिर वापस वही कहानी हेड खराब है दूसरे पा, के पास गया बोला हेड खराब है हाँ पहले वाले ने सही बोला था हेड खराब है तो अब आप क्वेश्चंस पूछिए कुछ और फिर मैं पांच मिनट के बाद आपको और तरीके बताता हूँ जो फॉर्मवेयर लेवल पर आजकल रिवाज हो गया है खराब करने का और वो खराब करने वाले डेटा रिकवरी कंपनीज हैं क्योंकि वो फॉर्मवेयर के साथ डीलिंग करती है अगर फॉर्मवेयर में खराबी होती है तो इसका मतलब डेटा रिकवरी कंपनी ने खराब की है इंटेंशनल एक्सीडेंटल एक्सीडेंटल रॉन्ग चीज चढ़ा दी इंटेंशनल एक्सीडेंटल लैक ऑफ नॉलेज परपसफुल और टू गिव इट इन सच अ कंडीशन दैट ही हैज टू कम बैक फॉर इज डेटा और somebody else who takes the hard disk has to reverse everything again to get data but in seagate it is tough in wd it is somewhat easy but difficult it takes time but it is somewhat easy so seagate damages are difficult to recover especially lm series damages are difficult to recover because they have not followed followed the correct protocol of saving the firmware modules rom ram and everything so you can ask me your questions deepak charasya ji kaise laga aapko ye sab ab and cozy computers kuch pata chala navi cheez maine jo boli ki kabhi suna tha ye ki suna hi nahi tha कुछ लिखिए जी अच्छा कोजी कंप्यूटर बहुत बढ़िया तो ये चीजें आपके ज्ञान में इलम में नहीं थी कि लोग ऐसे भी खराबियां करते हैं मैं जरा थोड़ा थोड़ा दो मिनट के लिए शांत रहूंगा ताकि आप लोग भी सोच सके और कोई क्वेश्चन है पीसीबी के बारे में रॉम के बारे में रैम के बारे में फॉर्मवेयर के बारे में तो आप पूछिए हाय सर राघविंद्र देवासम जी हाय सर इफ प्लेटर हैज रिंग कैन इट बी रिकवर्ड Uh, Raghavendra ji, I would uh, like to know you are talking about number one, which hard disk, Seagate, WD, Samsung, Toshiba, Maxter, because 
recovery depends on the type of hard disk model of hard disk if there is a ring platter and where is the uh, ring on the top for say surface or on the bottom one bottom one you can't see middle one you can't see you can see only the top one so yes seagate yes you are right seagate yes now tell me which one which seagate very old seagate moderate seagate barracuda seagate or lm series seagate lm and dm new okay see uh, and tell me which which surface the uppermost surface or the lowermost surface lowermost surface you cannot see a scratch so it has to be on the uppermost surface right both sometimes in lm but how will you see the lower surface when you open a hard disk uh, raghavendra daya sam you are only seeing the upper surface tell me how will you identify both the uh, both surfaces it is only one surface you are seeing and who will report which company will write down both surfaces crashed what does it say that means he has taken out the platter and seen the other side also okay raghavan uh, raghavendra let us forget which surface is scratched now let me tell you there is a one platter hard disk like the new ones you are talking which is uh, one tb hard disk okay one tb hard disk dm new 500 gb on one side 500 gb on other side now you are seeing somebody told somebody opened and said ring on platter first of all data firmware is written on two heads 0 and 1 the lower one the lowest one is 0 and what you see is 1 now in this case 0 and 1 if 0 is okay then data can be recovered if 0 firmware is bad and one is okay then also data can be recovered from one platter 50% data loss without opening the hard disk without opening the hard disk if one surface is absolutely normal data can be recovered without opening the hard disk now if both are having firmware damage there is ring on both of them and firmware area is damaged then data cannot be recovered but i will recover data on such cases where one platter is normal and one is having ring and it is clicking and coming to you and it is stopping i will recover data with my special method without doing a head replacement because if i do head replacement in such a case then the normal head which i will put will jump on this ring and destroy itself in half a minutes time so i would prevent head replacement but if i am clever 
I will save the ROM and I will make another ROM in such a way that it sees it sees firmware from the normal disk only and it gives me data 50% from the normal site. This is advanced training in Seagate. Very, very few people do this, know this, and many will not know this because they will say, oh, customer wants 50%, no, 50 doesn't want, he want 50 also more, so I refuse the case. But sometimes that 50% contains so much data, especially for photographers. His videos come out, his photos come out, so one side 50% loss, but one side he has got a lot of data. Tally, if he is lucky, it is on the normal platter, he gets his tally. GST data, if it is on the normal platter and one end not working, he will get the data. So that is why it depends where the person goes for recovery. If he comes to me, he will get 50%. Now imagine there are two platters, two TB hard disk, 500, 500, 500, 500, two TB hard disk. Again, the most upper surface is three. The most lowest surface is zero. One and two in between. Zero, one, two, three. Now again, zero and one. If one of them or both of them are having no scratches, I will recover data from them with 25% loss. Okay. Again, with four platters, six platters, eight platters, ten platters, one area, one platter, the lowest one, one side should be very good. SA area in certain hard disk is at the edge. In some, it is in the middle. And in some areas, it is as per the design of the hard disk. SA area, what it is? It is an area assigned to write the service area. So it can be in the end, in the beginning, in the middle, or anywhere where you, where you can. Even there are advanced techniques that SA area can be shifted from one area to another. Service area in WD hard disk, if a module is bad, you can shift that service area some, on some other track. You can even shift the service area on a head which is not meant for service area. So advanced people can shift service area in WD to locations where service area is not written. So they write service area there and they can access. Seagate, there is a limitation. Service area is a negative area. There the head will go only for some time, come back and show the data. So, service area is at the edge or in the middle. It can be anywhere. It depends on the model. But uh, only by experience and by opening the hard disk and trying to power it after opening in a clean room with all the proper screws attached again, you may come to know where the service area of that hard disk is depending upon the movement of the head. Usually companies prefer to keep it at the edge. So I answered you Raghavendram. So whenever the heads are bad, the lowermost one should have one side normal. You can take out data without opening or head replacement. Head replacement is just a mechanism 
wherein you require normal platters and weak heads, not broken heads. If the head is broken, it will make a ring on the platter. If the head is weak, then yes, you will get bad sectors. So a bad sector, very bad sector, heart is not giving data, very slow, is the most ideal case for head replacement rather than a clicking on this. I think you understood this point. Head replacement, whenever is required on a Seagate, results will never be 100% because the platter has to have minor scratches on it. So that's it. So I was talking about how people damage hard disk and PCBs. I have a hard disk in front of me. I'll see whether I can open it or not. I will just concentrate uh, the camera on this hard disk and I will show you. Now these are the screws wherein people put Feviquake and the board cannot be opened again. These are the motor points wherein in some hard disk there is a cable. People conveniently cut the cable or burn the cable with a soldering iron. There are small, very small tracks here. Very, very small tracks here. People conveniently cut those tracks. Some people break these points. Some people break these points. They, they put a knife inside and cut it. Some people introduce plus and minus wires in this. They will, enter, they will lift it up with a knife and they will put a wire below it in such a way that it will touch the plus and minus point. Once you power it, it will burn the connector by heat. So a lot of methods people use to damage. Now I will open up this hard disk and show you some people change this whole PCB. The PCB number is usually written here. Here. I will try to concentrate and see if I can. See this PCB number. PCB number is written there. So some people all Seagate PCBs look similar. So people change the PCB and they know that they have changed and the number is also different. But we catch them. We catch them that the PCB has been changed. The PCB number was so and so. You bring that PCB number along with the original BIOS. Then only you will get your data. Otherwise forget the data forever. Nobody in the world can recover data from a Seagate whose PCB has been changed. So make it a point to catch those people who are changing PCBs and exposing them somehow or the other to the world. That these are the people who are doing this. Be aware of them. So I opened this PCB and I'll show you. Now, this is a very important component. This is the BIOS. This is a diode. This is a diode. This is the IC which is meant for cache memory. 
this is the main processor this is the this is the ic for the motor this is a coil uh, this is a coil if you see carefully there are small fuses here these are very small fuses here again this is the coil this is a coil this is a coil these are condensers these are condensers now if i give heat and take out these condensers one of them two of them the hard disk will not work if i remove this hard disk will not work if i remove this coil hard disk will not work if i damage this coil hard disk will not work now very smart people they will put paint here they will put a transparent nail polish here by which the contacts of here are not made here when the contacts are not made here then how will the heads give data so this is one more mischief there are these small contacts here if you take some pin and press it if you take some pin and press this the pin will go inside it will never come out so it will not touch this portion of the board it will not touch this portion of the board some people put a nail polish here some people put a nail polish here some people put a plastic paper here some people put a plastic paper here some people damage these pins they will depress one of the pins some people break the pins so this contact will not be made here on the motor so many physical methods of destroying a hard disk there are many many thousands of small components so people damage i'll, I'll give you a close up view and you will see that there are so many small components on a hard disk that uh ah, see this now suman koi aan wala so uh ah, see this for a moment you can see tomorrow i will adjust my camera in such a way so, so that you can see close up also now you saw this now there are some smart people who will open up this and there is a screw below this and they will loosen the screw and give it back so whenever the person is powering on the hard disk it will make funny sounds clicking sounds and then the heads will get damaged and since you are going to put back the pcb then nobody is going to notice that this fellow removed that uh, silver sticker and damaged the hard disk so these are criminal damages which people do i can write a book <laughs> of about 100 pages damages of a hard disk very bad very bad uh, though i am exposing all of them through this talk i don't know how those companies will react but they should learn that they should not damage anybody's important hard disk and data even one tally file can give a punishment to the customer from the income tax department and pay make uh, make a fine of about 10000 20000 rupees because he has not submitted his returns in time because that file was not working and that file was damaged by a data recovery company so you can imagine the poor fellow has to pay a fine and plus in the records of the income tax that he 
did not file his income tax in time he hit the income tax and for no reason he got a fine similarly is for gst you now he is not able to pay a gst in time he gets a fine so, but why why a data recovery company wants to punish a customer for no reason because he is not giving you money i learned data recovery out of passion and interest and people are earning money for uh, doing data recovery for passion and interest and as a hobby also and if you do such things imagine imagine the karma you will face now see this is a, again i am going to show you how data recovery companies this area with a silver area appearing here has to always be intact whenever you see a seagate hard disk this screw here is the head alignment screw below this and these screws are meant to open the hard disk now with a fine blade you can lift this up you can lift this cover up and you can loosen the screw inside open it up open all these things and you can remove the lid of the hard disk you can damage the platter inside the head inside put the lid back put the seal back nobody will come to know but when you observe it under a microscope you will get fine lines here fine very fine lines here till here till here if you see those very fine lines that means this was peeled off the sticker was pulled till here and pushed back those fine lines will never go away the sticker is made in such a way that those fine lines will never disappear you can see those lines under a eye my eye lens or a good eye microscope so people also damage the head alignment screw or if they want to open up the hard disk without the customer noticing it they use this method now let me tell you one another dirty method there is a small dent here there is a small dent here people are putting dirty water from here inside if they want to spoil the hard disk then they take a heater and the water evaporates but the dirt comes on the hard disk so people are using these areas also there is a gasket here but water flows below the gasket also and goes inside then people have another funny idea they will open three screws they will open the lid from here and they will take a fine needle and a syringe and push dirty water inside or a powder inside or anything or they will blow dirty powder inside and that goes and settles on the platter but they are caught once we open the hard disk we come to know that they are caught now these are physical methods now let me tell you people who have firmware equipment like pc3000 mrt dolphin other firmware equipment wherein without doing this physical damage you can do damage to the rom by saving the rom by changing the program in the rom by writing another another hard disk rom or by editing the rom in hex software and changing the values inside the rom and writing it back and giving it very difficult to catch but then in an expert hand like here 
we are able to know that changes have been done, done to this module of the ROM. Wrap portion, SAP portion, PAP portion, whatever portion, we come to know that changes have been done to the ROM. And we certify that these areas have been damaged by some other company even without opening the hard disk. Now there are another form, list of firmware modules number one, two, three, four, five, six. There are a number of modules inside which are named further as 1B, 2B, 1A. They all mean translator, glist, plate, config file, and what not adapter file, and so many names it has. So you edit them in a hex editor. And if you replace the same file, with a file from another computer and if you have that instrument, people do that and destroy the hard disk. This is destruction. So that nobody else gets the data, but experts who are experts in this can catch this. And the customer tells me, my hard disk was first there. He has kept it for five So who has done it? A program cannot change itself. There's no magic inside that. It will say, Ke, main apna smart values change kar dega. Somebody has changed it. So he's caught. Even in the courts, if there is a jury sitting and those five people realize, five jury people realize that yes, this is the method the company has used to damage the ROM. Imagine the future of that company. And this is coming up very fast abroad. And abroad, everything like this comes first. And then it comes in develop or developing countries. Like for example, medicine. Now a doctor starts a glucose trip and the patient is female and she gets pain. She gets pain and she says, oh, I'm fainting, I'm fainting, I'm fainting. She, on discharge, files a case on the doctor that he poked me so hard that I fainted. And she wants compensation. Then the doctor has done everything in good faith. But if she has fainted, the doctor is not responsible. The needle is responsible, but the needle gave her a pain. But then the patient says he did not use a very sharp needle. He used a blunt needle, so the patient wins the case. Similarly, in data recovery, gradually when in cities people are getting educated, they will file cases. He spoiled my data. He's, he robbed my data. His staff robbed my data. They are misusing my data. They are used they, they have all the Excel files and they are taking out emails out of the Excel files. They have all the tally data and they know my company's complete information. They have reported to the income tax people. All these cases are going to start in another five to 10 years time. So please be prepared. This is long vision thinking at this time. I am thinking ahead by 10 to 15 years. So data recovery people should be aware that yes, they have to take care. I hope Raghavendram, how is it? And Kosi, how is it? So I explained about firmware damage and also about uh, damage caused through BIOS. There are a lot of other damages where uh, sys files in Seagate are changed, 0 to module is changed, wrong commands are given, slow rate fix is done. This is because people are experimenting on a customer's hard disk. Experiments can be failure or success. And if an experiment is successful, that is the sign you discovered something because it was already there. But you never made an attempt to see 
okay what was discovered by whom earlier so that you could have followed him and then done that instead of spoiling data of 10 customers drive and then discovering oh relo can be fixed in this manner oh zero two can be fixed in this manner so remember first is training training through forums training through manuals training through company uh, people training through friends training through discussions because in a doctory for people who are doctors why do they have conferences they give lectures yes a perforated appendix can be removed in this fashion a uterus with so many fibroids can be removed in this fashion this medicine is this medicine is superior than this medicine in cancer they discuss and they distribute knowledge how many data recovery companies come together once in a year or once in 10 years to discuss cases none shame company should come together have discussions on cases i recovered a lm series by this method someone will get up and say no i have a shortcut i am telling you the shortcut how many data recoveries will join hands like this and help people around the world shame none of them are coming now one more thing i want to tell they have upgrade programs if you want to upgrade yourself you attend this workshop learn new things and upgrade yourself how many data recovery instrument manufacturing companies have upgrade learning programs maybe only pc 3000 has it but it's very expensive you have to go to prague you have to book your own hotel you have to book your own eating arrangements you have to book your own air tickets you have to give them a fees of 3 lakh rupees and you have spent 8 lakh rupees go going there and you understood nothing because their english was different and my english is different so you have come back oh i went to prague and dealers here will start sending you hard disk oh he had gone to prague but no what he learned nuts nothing so remember when you learn things from somebody you should know a lot you should not go into a country where the, there are language differences and you have paid so much for learning and you learned nothing because you couldn't understand their language i went to china i went to salvation data company the chinese language was not so understandable it was a different accent what they could mean was very different to me so i could learn only 50% from them i spent about 4 lakhs going there coming back hotels and their fees and buying equipment but what did i learn 50% i made notes when i examine my notes today i realized that what all i had written was all junk non understood at all when i came back and tried to understand my notes i said it was a waste going there and spending money yes i went to china and learned i tell people i went to china i learned data recovery and they also believe me but from my heart of hearts i know what i learned 50% only but then i read manuals i went on forums i discussed with people then i used to phone my friends and then ask them are you have some solution yes gradually talking learning listening here and there i got to understand what is their problem so damages of hard disk are many 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 damages i have talked only a few of them now spitting on head and platter i got a hard disk <laughs> where they had opened the hard disk and spitted on it why because the customer was not giving money so he returned opened the hard disk spitted on it and gave it back now tell me 
how do I, I, how could I know that he spitted inside? Any ideas, any one of you can tell, how could I know he spitted inside? Yes, today if somebody spits inside, I would do a DNA testing and I would do DNA testing of the company person who opened the hard disk. And yes, it would match and say yes, he spitted. But today also, what we did, we put water on the spit, we dissolved somewhat portion of the spit and sent it for microscopic examination in a laboratory to find out if there were any cells inside which were salivary cells or cells from the mouth or some bacteria or there were food particles. We got food particles and once we got food particles it was a proof that this was a spit inside. So remember Anybody doing wrong thing, it is a modern world, modern technology, he can get caught. But my advice to companies, don't do these things at all. It is an important data. Data is gold now. Data is gold. Data is life now. If somebody loses his data, he does not get sleep. He is sleepless for nights. I have in these 18 years two people who fell down in my office because they said, Sir, mera data nahi mila, to mera job jayega. Sir, mera data nahi mila, to mera career spoil hoega. Sir, mera ko USA jane ka hai. Sab documents isme hai. Mera USA ka visa postpone ho jayega, milega nahi. Sir, mera permission sara isme hai. Sir, mera certificate sab isme hai. People have so many important things in their hard disk. And the only mistake is what they have done is they don't have backups. Have they had backups, they would have not gone through this torture. So, uh, it's one hour. I think there are very few people who have attended today. Only two I can see online. Posey Computers and Raghavendra. People are not interested, it seems. Anyhow, do you want me to continue or do you want me to stop here? Yes, today is I think Saturday, so people are in Saturday night fever mood. Tomorrow they will be in a Sunday mood and then they will come. So should I stop or should I continue? I think I will stop today, it's Saturday, you people also enjoy a little, have your food, have an early night sleep today, wake up fresh tomorrow for Sunday. Uh, I will end my stream session here. Thank you very much for coming. God bless you all. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. Good night. And I end my stream with love to all of you. Thank you so much.